Okay, we actually got this underway for once. Oh god, the lag. Okay, hopefully just keep like that. Okay, so we have... Oh yeah, yeah, this, one of my friends was famous, called Chris Hansen. Long story about that. It was Chris Hansen. Alright, so... I don't think he muted us, so I think we can, he, he, we can hear what he's saying. Or we could hear his computer. We'll, we'll go from there. But anyway, he's playing Buzzwall. And his opponent's playing Zorak Garb. Uh, he draws the turn. He has strong energy in hand. Hopefully Gabe is not cheating by looking at this. If he is, he gets a stern no. But anyway. He starts with Ultra Ball. He's going to discard probably. Maybe the B-String. I would say maybe the B-String. Depends on what he wants to do, actually. So he grabs, I would probably want to grab the Lele's maybe, no he doesn't know. I was thinking maybe uh, Bridget, but why would he want to Bridget this time, he's on me. I would play it in Wild Solar, my bad. Anyway, he's probably going to grab a, I want to say maybe Remoraid, or no, probably Rocko since it's only it's only one. Seems like he's prize runner too, which kind of sucks. So he's probably going to bench that, maybe catch a strong, yep, catch a strong there. Oh, you can, you can definitely hear him. Jordan, uh, mute, mute your mic so that way we uh, can't hear you the sound effects. Okay. Let me see how to do that. If I do that? I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Alright, so he has a pretty solid start. He has both Remoraid and Rockruff. He doesn't have his Buzzwall, but I don't think he necessarily wants that right away. Now, his opponent definitely doesn't have the most favorable match for the world, I believe. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's awful. Oh, that's a fair. He, he had a Guzma pass. And he definitely wasn't, you know, watching the screen share, otherwise he would not have done that. But then again, that might have been his only out. Oh, I actually feel really bad. Let me know if everything's going out fine for the Twitch, because I'm watching on my phone. Let me know if things aren't be are being a little laggy or anything like that, or like if the sound's off. Please, you know, keep me up to date as I the streams are fine. Okay. But anyway. Jordan has a really good start. Oh god. Well, okay. Can Jordan win here? I'm curious about that, actually. I don't think he can. I think if he wanted to, he probably could probably go for the floatstone play. Try a float still retreat into it, but like, yeah, he's going to be comfortable going, okay, I'm just going to sledgehammer you for a little bit. And if you don't get anything next turn, I'm just going to win. Yeah, that's Biffy. He doesn't really need to do anything, so okay, now he's going Gabe. If he can't do anything, I win. Okay, it's not really quiet. I'm gonna try fixing them in between matches. So he's gonna pass return. And probably use the GX for the knockout. Or he could just do that. Whatever works. Alright. I sound really quiet. Let me know if the music's a little too quiet. Hopefully this is better. But Jordan's up one game one. Thank you for anyone who's just turning in. I apologize if it, this stream is not the most optimal in the world, but we're trying our best. My name's Seth Budrick, your commentator and admin for the tournament. Hopefully I, you know, raise the mic so it's efficient. Okay, the lag. Okay, there we go. So, by the way, 
just letting everyone know we're, we're having Gabe Shumway versus Jordan Palmer. And Jordan Palmer won game one. Okay, thank you, Omega Scissor. Uh oh. Someone's having trouble loading the stream. Alright, so. Oh, rip. Rip Gabe Shumway. Just rip. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. He started Lele, but at least he's got a Bridget from hand. Zorik and Bridget from hand? That's actually solid. I'll take that. I will take that. Oh god, YouTube. Uh, but Jordan doesn't really have anything, to be fair. Gabe kind of won the setup, honestly. Yeah, he started Lele with he had Bridget from hand. He has supporter. Jordan doesn't have anything. He evolves. Okay, he's definitely gonna probably have something, but assume. Um Jordan and Palma not gonna lose immediately though. Buzzle is very tanky, and I don't see him knocking out this turn. I'm pretty sure Gabe does not play any uh Kukui, so there's no way, real way he can knock it out this turn. Oh wait, he actually did, uh, he's playing Garbodor, so he could probably use Trancher Lance. Now, even then, he doesn't have anything in the discard. He has one item in the discard, that's not gonna help. So he can't knock out Buzzwall for a while, so... He doesn't have anything, but... Jordan's... Doesn't really need too much, he just needs a way to get out of this and get more stuff going later on in the game. He would like to get a Rockruff, probably. As long as he gets his portal within like two or three turns, he should be okay. Because these are just baby buzz balls and they're really tanky. And I don't see Gabe doing it, winning anytime soon. So, thank you for anyone joining. We're in winners finals of the 60 cards invitational tournament series. Gabe Shumway versus Jordan Palmer. I am currently screen sharing. Jordan Palmer, let me know if everything's going okay, or if I can anything be improved your viewing experience, please let me know. Jordan Palmer's up game is up one game. One of our uh Competitors, okay, now he's got second bar. He's fine. Let's say Ty he doesn't really want to get rid of this hand. I think he maybe would have preferred to end there. Uh, now the dilemma is where you put it. I think you put it on the back one. I'm not sure. I don't play this deck enough. I think I think both are optimal to be honest. Okay, he's got. All right. He's definitely playing that down. Maybe Ultra Ball Wave won the Buzz Ball and the Fighting, or one won the card so he can get maybe a Rock Ruff, I would assume. I probably would want to get rid of the end. Yeah, end and Buzz Ball. Yeah, he already sick, got rid of his Octillery, so he, he kind of just has to like, ditch that idea for now. Thank you for anyone joining us. Winners finals of the Six Cards Invitational Tournament Series. Gabe Shumway versus Jordan Palmer. Jordan Palmer's up one game. So, and Jordan Palmer's up one game. We're currently uh, watching Jordan Palmer's game right now. So, this is Jordan Palmer. And that's Gabe Shumway. Anyway, uh, Gabe's had a pretty good start, but like Jordan Palmer has a better match from my experience. Oh, I wish I could see his discard. <laughs> Gabe.
Gabe had a pretty decent start other than starting Lele, so he should be fine. But at the same time, this is a tough matchup. Uh, Old Stone Garbodor. I don't know. Still, Tronin has a, is at a good position. Wait, is that knockout? Oh my god, he's actually attacking with the, the second attack, not the first attack. I didn't even see that right away. That's how bad I am at this game. I haven't played this game since freaking Madison Regionals, really. I'm curious as to why he was put up to Deontay. Maybe he's kind of sacking. Maybe he thinks he can take a hit. That's what I'm guessing. And Jordan... The reason why Jordan didn't use the max looks there, I believe, is because he didn't want to power up all Garbodor's ability to get Garbodor's Transformation attack there anymore. But honestly, if Gabe can just kind of get rid of this uh, Garbodor, he should be in a decent position. I think. I don't see him do anything too soon to it. Okay, I can see why he put Beyonce. He's hoping for a float stone and a light rock so he can just kill and be done with it. He missed one piece of the puzzle, though. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, he's like, okay, screw it, pass. <laughs> he's like, okay, I'm not doing it through this turn. Ah, oh, people are leaving us. We have 15 one point. I follow it. Let me know if the mic is too... My, my mic is too low, or if the music's too high, or if the stream's coming in laggy. If it doesn't look right, just let me know. Or if my commentary's bad, I don't know. Any whistle. Oh, he got rid of that. Uh, just like that, I think Gabe's in a pretty good position. Jordan really. Jordan missing the Lycan Rock there really hurt. If he got that, that would have been swung in Jordan's favor, but now it's in Gabe's favor. In order for it to go back into Jordan's favor, he would need another Max Elixir at one point. And another Float Stone. Well, he already has both some, but I think at this point, Palmer's kind of sacrificing that idea. The entire, uh, you know, try to get the Lightning Rock in play. I think he's more trying to focus on just trying to, you know, trying to get rid of this thing as fast as possible. Which, oh wait, he did because he forgot unevenness. If he has like four or less or something like that. I forgot the exact test. I think it does 90 more if the opponent has like exactly 3 or 4 prizes left. I think that's the exact test. text. I really should have started with my Pokemon more. Oh well. Alright, so he puts promotes the Tapu Lele. Benches the Latias. I think he's doing 60 with the weakness. I don't think that's incre an incredible amount. I think he might just wants to like go okay I'm gonna poke damage on the on the rock rope. And if you can't knock me out this turn, which I'm pretty sure he can. Alright, but anyway, thank you for anyone who's just joining us. I am Seth, Seth Budrick. I am your admin for the 60 Cards tournament series, tournament series, and I am also your streamer and commentator. Apologize if things are coming out laggy. Let me know if my voice is too loud or if my uh, music is too loud. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. Currently in winners finals, Jordan Palmer versus Gabe Shumway. We're currently uh, watching a screen share of Jordan Palmer's matchup. So float stone to the Deontay. It's gonna attach energy to the close ball. The tree is that knockout? No, it's not knockout. He could have got rid of the the garbage over there and not take a knockout, I believe. 
Oh wait, no, he's taking knockout regardless because of the price. Because he's his exactly three or four. God, I forget about that for a second. I'm bad. Gets a couple good stuff on the prizes, and now Jordan Palmas currently in the lead. This is just a bad matchup for Gabe, to be honest. It really is. You can tell the Palmer's doing his like you can tell Gabe's doing his best, and he's actually has done a couple optimal plays. I have to be honest with you, but there's not really a whole lot he can do against this deck. I'm curious if he has a Mew of some sort. I don't think he has based on the fact we have yet to see it. I think if he did, we would see it by now, but game one was very short. It's essentially a, a donk, so we do not know. Ugh. What can he do here? So he's going to be attacking with Gladius. I don't even know what the second attack does. I'm assuming it knocks out Buzzwall. Keyword assuming. Somebody asked to join him with my group, but I'll accept them later. Yeah, let me know if the stream's going okay. Again, this is just cards uh, invitational. But yeah, what can Jordan do here? Um, he's a very good position for the most part. I mean, it's not the most optimal move in the world, but like he, despite having a lackluster start, missing a support in the first turn of the game, missing a crucial uh, like and rock knockout, he's doing fine. All things considered, he could be doing better, but. Gabe, on the other hand, oof. putting the choice on the garb. Okay, he's going to end him down to three. Very, I like that strat. But at the same time, like, Jordan Palmer hasn't had necessarily had the best uh, draws in the entire game. So I'm not entirely convinced that this really helps him, you know, him too much. He gets another Boswell off the field. The previous prices are now even. And I'm not entirely sure if Gabe, if Jordan can, you know, deal with this Vladius right away. I mean, if he gets a like in Rock, he'll be able to deal with it pretty effectively, I think. He just goes GX stack, knockout, leave me alone. But I think even if he doesn't, I think he has the tools in order to knock him out anyway. I would assume he's going to max Luxor onto the Rock Ruff. Okay, so just so he can get it, maybe he ends, attaches, yeah, okay. Yeah, you want to attach it just right now since you have it in hand. Um, yeah. Gets less cards out of your deck. Maybe you want to use your uh, Octillia if you get it. He drew into the Ultra Ball, so he can definitely get the Lycanroc here. Fortunately, he doesn't have anything. He got the Remorade in play mostly just so he can like, probably... Yeah, he didn't get used for, to use the ability because it's already gone. So he's going to kill the Lycanroc, interesting. Not the Lycanroc, but the Zoroark. Um... Yeah, just take the two prizes while you can. You have the ability now, why not? So basically you're threatening, okay, if I get another energy, that's game. So he needs, Gabe needs to knock out a card that I have no idea if he can actually knock out. I don't think he can knock out like in Rock GX. I think that's game. I think that's game. Okay. Flare Grub, that's the card he needed. Ugh. Now Gabe, now... Jordy cannot win this turn. I don't think he can. Okay, if he pops a, a Guzma. No. Let's say if he pops a Guzma, then he can win the game. But. <laughs> I don't see. I didn't think he was going to be able to do that. I don't think his. 
I'm pretty sure his count isn't that big. I question why he put down the Remoraid. I'm gonna see if I can get an interview after this. So there's a good tree. Oh wait, he still wins because, okay, gotcha. Takes a knockout on the bench and Jordan Palmer wins. All right. So like that, Jordan Palmer wins.